a walking pole, which is helping get around. Let's start with our little stick. Hi, boss. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Who's talking to me? Ken Wait. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Looking it. forward to it. Good. All right. So we're going to stand or sit nice and tall. And let's just start. I'll bring this down a little bit. Let's just start with that nice twist, twisting around. Good. Just because I'm injured doesn't mean you guys can't work out as hard as me. Whoa, whoa. Make sure everybody's muted here. Okay, let's just turn around. Oop. Get rid of that. Oh boy. So I'm on my home computer, so it's a little bit different here. Yeah. It's important not to force force these exercises. Some of you have brooms, you can always go and clean the floor after. It's kind of helpful. Now let's take it down and up and overhead like that. I'm on my computer screen, it's sideways, unfortunately. So you can't see all of what I'm doing, but you get the idea. You can stand or sit, it's entirely up to you. And those arms stretching up. This is good, I need to get some exercise, don't I? Can't sit around all day watching. I'm getting pretty sick and tired of Netflix. Oh boy. I was telling Shelly before this, I said, if one more person says, oh, you're getting old, <laughs> I'm gonna use the stick for a different, different reason. <laughs> oh boy. Now let's hold that stick just like that. And I like to open up, this one opens up those chest muscles, the pecs. Ah, yes. Maybe all this movement will cheer me up, all you wonderful people. <clears throat> I see we still have some shy people who are having to turn their, cam their cameras on. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. It's nice to see you. Smiling faces though. There we go. Nothing wrong with my arms, I can use my arms. That's switch arms, speaking of arms. I don't know what it's like where you folks live, but the sun is shining here. It's a lovely day. Feels like spring out there. I have to go start looking for the crocuses and the snowdrops to be coming up. Everything seems a little bit late this year. Feels nice to sit outside, feel the sun in your face though. Whoops. Don't have as much room here as in my gym. <laughs> I'm bumping into things. Now, remember, you, you, it looks like most of you are standing. Feel free to sit or stand, whatever you feel comfortable with. Now we're gonna bring the stick down, hold it in your right hand like this, take it down to your left hip, and then we're gonna lift it up and across the body like that. There we go. That's it. Feel the outside of the shoulder that what they call the deltoid muscle getting a little workout there <clears throat> so it's like a diagonal lift is what this is good and let's change sides bring it over up and across don't forget to breathe keep the breathing and make sure your palm is down on the stick not up works better that way that's it See a couple of you made the adjustment, excellent. That's it. Now let's get our legs working a little bit. So, so if you're sitting or standing, you can, you can certainly do this. You can bring those knees up to touch the stick. The beauty of this walking boot is it's, it's got a little bit of weight to it. So, I think of it like uh, resistance from a, you know, resistance training. <laughs> Can't let my muscles all disappear. Good. Make sure you're safe with this. You can always do this with even with, with one hand on a chair, if need be. I'll lift those up. Yes. That's it. Four. 
three, two, one. Good. Can everybody hear me okay? Volume's all right? Good. Okay. So let's go palms up this time. This, this one, we're going to come up, up and over. Oops, let me just show you that a little better. We're going to go up like this, up and over. Back and behind. That's it. Got it. How high can you get those arms? How high can you get that stick up over your head? Reach it back. Yes. Very nice. If you can't get that far, just even just bring it to your forehead. That's great too. It doesn't have to be. Just do the best you can. Make sure your palms are up on the stick. Yes. If you can't get it way up over here, by all means, you can just shorten that a little bit. Good. Now I call this one rocking the baby. And what we do here is we lean forward and you're gonna rock side to side like that with your stick. That's it. How high can you get those elbows? Drive those elbows up. Perfect. Now this one's kind of a funny little one. I want you to just twist the stick around like this. A little small motor control here. Keep that going, keep that going, keep that going. Just gonna close this one screen here. There we go, now I can see you better. Let's go the other way around. It's a funny little exercise, but it's good to practice. Elspeth, yeah, it's hard with that. You got a cloth, that's, oh, that's a challenge. Good for you. That's great. Okay. Now let's do this. We're gonna roll, just roll, roll, roll. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders too because your shoulders are supporting your, the stick. Roll through like that. Just truly really get those wrists going. It's good to practice these wrist exercises from time to time. I see Sandy has a foam tube. And that's really nice because then you can kind of squeeze. You got a foam, like one of those, uh, what do they call them? Pool noodles. You can really kind of squeeze it. Let's go the other way now. Try to get those wrists moving as much as possible. Not, not the arms, but just the wrists. Really get those wrists working. We kind of ignore our wrists and hands. They play a big, important role though. Good. It's tiring on the forearms. And let's rest. Rest those shoulders. Let's put the stick down. I'll put the stick down. I won't pick one very far away. I want to do a few power move exercises here. Again, you can do these in your chair or, um, or, or standing. It's entirely up to you. This first one goes like this. If you're in a chair, come out towards the edge. But we're going to go up like this, leg out, like that. Okay, we've done this before. So standing, you can do the standing. One arm goes up, one leg goes out like that. Excellent. You got it. You got it. I'm glad that everybody followed the instructions and, and found the new Zoom link today. Um, Okay, congratulations, everybody. That's really that sometimes it's hard. You get so many emails and things, and sometimes it's easy to miss things. So I'm happy to see so many people here. It's great. Stretch that up, reach that up all the way. I thought for sure we'd have half the people here, but you guys came through. Well done. Now we sit or stand tall, arms come out like so, and we're gonna twist to one side and then open. All of these zoom, or sorry, all of these power move exercises are designed to do either in a chair, standing on all fours or on your back. So they're quite neat. If, you're, if you wanna find out more about them, you can just enter power moves, PWR moves. And there's classes you can do online. It all came out of Arizona with Becky Farley. She's fantastic. And she created all these wonderful exercises for people with Parkinson's called power moves. And they're, a lot of it's really yoga based, it's really good. And let's rest those shoulders. Now what I want to do here is a little posture exercise. Palms are up. We're gonna pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, just like this, pull back, reach forward. Make sure your hams, ha hams, your hands are up. 
Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just like that. That's it. So this is kind of a postural reset, I call this one. If you're, if you're feeling kind of slouchy one day, just, just do a few of these. And it just reminds your posture. Oh yeah, yeah, bring the shoulder blades together. That feels good. I should be doing that. It's a nice feeling. Does that feel nice when you do that? Now let's try this one. Bring your fingertips together. Elbows are at your side. And we're gonna rotate back like this. Bring your hands together. That's another little postural reset. I like to call that. Feel that. If you've got a band like Elspeth does, it's a great thing to do. If you've got a, a TheraBand, show us Elspeth. There she is in the green. She's see her yellow band. She's gonna show us how to do this. You just kind of pull it apart. Yes. Next time we do uh, one of these classes through the Parkinson's Society, I'll make sure I request everybody get one of these bands. I see a few more bands popping out. So if you've got a band, great time to do it. Sandy, where's your band? You lost your band. Dennis, where's your band? <laughs> these guys come to my regular class on Thursdays, so I can give them a hard time. Good. Now, if you've got a band, if you do, even if you don't, let's try this one. Straight arms, pull it out. Next time we'll do band exercises for sure. Pull that out. Oh, that really works the back of the shoulders, the rear deltoids. Those are important. But even if you don't have them, it still feels good. It's a good opener upper. Look at all you guys grabbing them. Fantastic. You can just imagine, call us the, the, the tacky stretch, the saltwater tacky stretch. If you're stretching out the tacky. Good, good. That looks really nice. Okay, now take a short break. We're going to use your chair, bring your chair and stand behind your chair. If you've got uh, balance issues, just it doesn't matter. I mean, it matters, but we're gonna hold on to the chair. I'll just do half of them. I won't do the, won't, I'll just do it with my non-supportive leg. Let's start here. What I want to do, I'm sure you can see me, is just take that leg up and out to the side. What? My wife is here making sure I don't do anything that'll get me farther behind the eight ball. <laughs> I've got a sensor. Oh, no, that doesn't look correct. Don't do that. That's good. She's helping me out. <laughs> so I'm doing this with my left leg only. You guys are going to switch to your right leg in a sec. Make sure your foot's always facing forward, right? That's what we want to do. Three, two, and one. Switch. Do the other leg. Lift it up. I'll do my same leg again, but now you're onto your right leg or left leg, depending where you started. Pay attention to your hip that you're standing on. You're going to feel it getting some work because, uh, oh, good. I see some sweatshirts coming off. Excellent. We're getting down to business here. Good, good. Three, two, one. Now, another nice one is to take your leg and go straight back and up and out like that. Just like this. Lift it straight up and straight back. This one you're going to feel on your backside, which is important to get that. Keep the leg straight as you lift it. Good. It's okay to bend forward a little bit. In fact, you almost need to really to get the most out of this one. Four, three, two, one, and switch legs. I'm just gonna watch you guys do this. Make sure you're doing it right. Oh, looking good, looking good. You should feel it in, in the backside, right? That's where you should feel this exercise as you lift. Lifting, keep lifting. Straight, and the leg you're standing on, make sure your knee is bent just a little bit. You don't wanna lock out that leg. And you're gonna feel your thigh doing some work here. So even though you're using the other leg, your supporting leg is getting a, some important work as well, which is really key. Three, two, one, good. Let's do a knee lift. So this time, your knee's gonna come directly up like this. Just lift it straight up. 
you guys should go out and buy these walking boots because they give you some good resistance here. So you can put one on both feet and you've got some natural weight <laughs> to lift. <laughs> these things are expensive too. I had no idea. They're $200 for a stupid walking boot. I thought, oh, they'll just give you one, but no, you gotta go buy one. So more adds to the pain. <laughs> and four, and three, two, last one. Good, switch legs over to the other side. And you can hold on with one or two hands, doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep doing the same leg. Good, very nice, you guys. I'm gonna take a break because it's really starting to get tired on the right. Yep, yeah, I'm doing double duty here. Good, and let's switch legs over. You haven't done the other leg yet. Have we done the other leg already? I think we have. Yeah, we already have. I only did one. I'm getting confused here. Okay, one more. This one is for the hamstring at the back. So this time we bend the knee up like that. Just like that. Did you say, mm-hmm, or did the other leg? Sue? No, that's like you're gonna get tired. Oh yeah. Good. They make machines in the gym, you know, where you lie down on your on your front and you hook your foot around and you pull on a little pad like this. And boy, do you ever feel that in the back of the leg? But even just doing it, just standing, you still feel it too. That's the hamstring. That muscle doesn't get used enough. It doesn't get worked enough. So we need to practice doing this. Four, three, two, and take a break. Switch legs, the other side, lifting up, bring that hamstring up. It's like kicking yourself in the backside is what we call this one, right? So oh, keep her going, keep her going. Looking good. When we get to the boxing stuff, I'm just gonna des describe the cardio stuff for you to do. <laughs> you gotta use your imagination today, okay? <laughs> Thank you for that. Good. Let's do four, three, two, one, done. Now you're gonna go up on your toes, up on your toes and back on your heel. Up and down like that. Half raises. Good. And here's a little tip. You can do these two at a time or one leg at a time. One leg is more intense, Take, takes twice as long, but you could, you could just even just kind of wrap your other leg around like this and just go up and down. You can also hold a dumbbell in your right hand when you're using your right leg and in your left hand doing your left leg if you want to add some more resistance. But I'd recommend doing these every day. Cow phrases are so important. Good to keep the, the, an the ankle joint strong too. So this helps to support all those muscles surrounding the joint, the ankle joint. Up and down you go, good. And it's okay to feel the burn. This is one muscle that you'll kind of feel that burning sensation when you do it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's good, it means you worked it. Good, now if you're doing single legs, start doing the other side, otherwise do a few more doubles, keep her going. Excellent. And make sure you don't bend your knees, keep your legs nice and straight, straight when you do this. All the actions in the ankle, just the ankle going up and down. And we're gonna finish with some squats here. So you're gonna just kind of sit back, you can hold your chair or you don't have to, you can do it like, like so with your arms behind and bring them in front like that. You can certainly do that. Oh, our sunshine's going away. Darn. It was nice to have an hour, one hour of sunshine. We'll take it. Makes you realize how long it's been since we've had sunshine. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been very gray. Good. Oh, I like some of the action I'm seeing here. So the arms go back. And then as you squat, they come forward. It kind of offsets your balance. You look very good. Excellent. Those are the squats. All right. Let's grab our dumbbell. Have a drink first off. Have a drink. Grab your dumbbells. I'm going to go back to my chair. Got through that without killing myself. Excellent. Things are looking up.
Okay. Got the dumbbell. So again, you can do any of these in a chair or standing. It's entirely up to you. Let's just start just to warm up the shoulders a little bit more, just a little swing. <clears throat> Dumbbells generally work the arms and shoulders and back muscles well. A little bit harder to work the chest muscles. So I would recommend if you want to work all these kind of pushing muscles in front, then if you have an island uh, counter, like a kitchen counter or a kitchen island, it's great to do push-ups, push-ups, or even on a wall, get in the habit of doing those. So yeah, so I find like a kitchen counter works really well. You can even put that little kitchen like towels in your hands to protect your hands as you go, but it's uh, it's a nice way to to uh, to work the chest muscles. Or you can drop down to the floor and just do regular push-ups <laughs> if you want to. You can always do them from your knees as well, right? So, okay. So the first exercise, I'll get a little timer going here. So we're gonna curl up and down like this. Careful not to rock the body, right? Curl down like this. Next, we're gonna throw a little punches like that, little one twos after a short rest. Three, two, one, let's go. Punch, punch. One, two, 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 one, two. Good. Keep that going. Good. So this time we're kind of coming right out in front. That makes sense. Nice, nice and smooth. Next up, we're gonna do emptying the glasses. So we're gonna lift up like this and then pour out the drinks just like that, okay? Good, good. We'll go back to our bicep curls. A good bicep curl is all the way up, all the way down, keeping those elbows tucked to your side. Three, two, one, let's go. All the way up, yes. Good, quick rest, shake them out. Rest. Let's do our one twos again. So these really copy what we do with the boxing. So it's the old jab cross. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Good. Rest. And the last one, emptying out those glasses again. Here we go. Slow is better. A nice lift and a pour. Lift and a pour. <laughs> Sounds like it's, it's a mar margarita time. A lift and a pour. It's five o'clock somewhere. Now it's easy to get in the habit of doing this, like swinging your arms or you're moving your body, but you want to just lift just with those arms. 
Keep your posture nice and tall. Okay, round one, complete. Take a little rest, take a little rest. We're gonna work some different muscles now. We're gonna start with an overhead press. We can alternate. Let me just switch my little camera up like this. So starting session. we're gonna start right here. We're gonna do alternating pushes like this. Here we go. Try to get into a regular rhythm and try to stick with it. The goal is to try to get a straight arm overhead. When you do it alternating like this, you kind of get the heart rate up a little bit too, which is great. That's good. Looking good, you guys. <clears throat> Good, excellent, excellent. Now we did this earlier, but I wanna try it with some weights this time. So this is this posture exercise, squeeze those shoulder blades together, just like that, pull them out, keep that nice rhythm going, not speeding through it, but. Excellent. Overheads, external rotation. And now we're gonna work the back of the arms, the old triceps. You can do this two ways. You can go like that, or you can go like this, kickbacks, it's up to you. I'm in a chair today, so I'm gonna do it like this. I find it easier to do when I'm in a chair to go overhead. But if not, you can bend forward. You can just use one dumbbell or two dumbbells, it's up to you. If you're doing it like I am, imagine you're scratching your back with one of those scratching posts or washing your back with it. I see some people are doing the kickbacks. It looks great. Excellent. You start to feel those muscles working. Ooh, yes. Four seconds, two, one, and bring them down. That's another, that's another muscle group that you really feel, just like your calves. You feel your calves. Let's go back to our first one again. Here we go. Alternating overhead. Get both dumbbells. Here we go. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Oh, I see some water bottles. That's water's heavy. Here, pack water around. Water is water's an excellent way to do these exercises. Absolutely. What if you have sugar water, like pop, if it's heavier, it's got sugar in it. Hmm, I don't think so. But water bottles are excellent. And if they're frozen, then you can put them on your forehead when you get tired. <laughs> That's not a nice way to use frozen water bottles. Gets a little cold on the old hands though. <laughs> Good. Bring them down here. We're going to do our external rotations, those pull outs, those tappy pulls. And really, really focus on exaggerating that squeeze, squeeze of the shoulder blades. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm seeing some crazy flashing lights there. It's great. Eddie. Eddie's has got these green lights flashing. That's wild. I don't know what's going on. Here's some freezing. Oh. <laughs> Good. And the last one Rest. is our triceps again. So I'm going to go back up like this again. Here we go. Here we go. Work those triceps, the back of the arm. Now we're going to do some back muscles. We're going to focus on the back muscles. For the next three. Here comes the sun again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Okay, now, I, as I promised, we're going to do this. So, this. so the first one we're going to do is like this. We're going to pull, pull them up like that. I call that the old zipper. It's like you're zipping up your jacket. Second one, you're going to put both dumbbells in one hand, put your hand on your chair, and we're going to row, okay? But for the first one, hold them like this, palms down, knuckles forward, and we're going to slide up like this. And you want to try to get those elbows up. If it hurts, just do it like this. If, if this causes any grief whatsoever, sometimes if your shoulders, if you have some arthritis going on, you don't want to try this one. But just if it feels okay, there's no pain, then go for it. Okay. Work those water bottles. Here we go. Starting session. Okay, here I come back down again. So 
It's like pumping up a tire, right? We're pumping up a tire. That's all we're doing. Pumping up your bike tire. Excellent, excellent. Good, good, good. Okay, now, if you want to, you can put both, both dumbbells in one hand, or if you have a heavier dumbbell, grab it, or, you know, or just, just, just one. That's fine, too. I'm going to do this in my chair like this, but you can do it standing, holding the back of the chair. Really exaggerate that. Get that elbow up nice and high. Nice and high, looking good. And make the arm do the work. When your arm's doing the work and you're not twisting the body, it means your back's doing the work. Excellent, excellent. Get that elbow back up there. Looking good. Holy boy. Something is really strange going on with that one computer. The aliens have invaded it. And the other side. Rest. Now, if you can see where Shelly was, there's a, there's a tulip. Can you see the tulip logo? See, it's got two colors. Does anybody know what the official Parkinson's colors are? I know one of them. One of them is magenta. Isn't that, isn't that something? Magenta is the Parkinson's color. I think that's really neat. And sometimes to celebrate during Parkinson's, Parkinson's Day, World Parkinson's Day, they, they light up the, the, the parliament buildings in Victoria in the, in, the, in the magenta blue and the, I can't remember what the pink color is called. Maybe someone else out there knows it. I think it's really pretty though. Let's do this again. Magenta and something else. I can't remember the other color. I'll have to look that one up. It's a trivia question. Parkinson's trivia. Work. Good. <clears throat> you can have all kinds of questions. What town was Michael J. Fox born in? Well, that's gotta be Burnaby, right? The BC boy. Good. Pump that bike tire up. Parkinson's trivia, there, there you go. Everything you never wanted to know about Parkinson's. <laughs> when are we getting rid of it? Soon, I hope. That's the most important thing, let's get rid of it. Okay, let's go back to here. Last, last two exercises here. And we'll have a water break. Turquoise and magenta. I, yeah, Vicky, I think that might be a turquoise. So the magenta is the pink color, is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. So, so magenta is pink. Okay, and turquoise. I thought I had a fancier name than turquoise. I'm almost disappointed. <laughs> like teal blue or something. Or... Oh, okay, that makes sense. Turquoise and magenta. Trust Vicky to know. Supergirl. I'm not so perky today. Aquamarine? Yeah, it could be aquamarine. Oh, you're just guessing at this point, Vicky. I thought you knew the answers. I'm so disappointed in you. Could be aquamarine. I don't know if that makes sense. It's lovely though. All right, last one. Then we're gonna get our fake boxing gloves on, our real ones if you really wanna put them on. And you guys are gonna jump around, do some exercise. I'm gonna watch you and enjoy seeing people that can actually move. I'm gonna live vicariously through you today. Richard, I broke my foot, you came late. I managed to go over my foot and I broke a bone on my foot. So that's why I'm sitting here in the chair today, Richard. Richard came in a little late, so he wouldn't know that. Yeah, we were uh, singing uh, rehearsal. Oh. For the Parkinson's group. Oh, you're, oh yeah, you're singing in a Parkinson's group? Yes. What, what's the name of your group? I think you told me once. Do you have a fancy name? Nope. What's that famous one down in the States? I think it's called the... Um, the Tremble Clefts, that's it, the Tremble Clefts. That's the name of a singing group down in, in the States, the Tremble Clefts, but that was kind of clever. That's our name too. That's your guys' name too. Oh, okay, Tremble Clefts. Well, there you, maybe that's, okay, well, that's great. Very clever, did you come up with that yourself, Richard? You can, you can, I, I, you can, you can lie and say it was all you, I'd never know. No, I never, I don't have original words, never. No original thoughts? Oh, come on. I know that's a lie. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. Come on. 
All right. So now we're ready to get think about boxing. I'm going to box from the chair. That's not a problem. I think I could still do hold my own here. So let's just quickly remember. It's our last day here. So let's just remember. Hopefully you got these these down by now. We've got number one. If you're left, if you're right-handed, got your left foot forward, right? And you're gonna start with your left hand. That's called a number one, otherwise known as a jab. Let's just try that jab. Jab, jab, jab. I hope some of you went out and maybe bought a little punching bag or one of those little ones on it, like those little red balls on a stick. They're kind of fun to have. Now let's try number two, which is the right cross, cross. And you kind of twist the hip. If you've got a garage, you can hang a hanging bag in your garage if you've got room. Everybody's got room in their garage. I don't have a garage, so I don't. The good thing I've got a gym. One, there we go. Let's put those together for a sec. Let's do a one and a two. Always coming back. Hands just under the chin. One, a one and a two. A one and a two. Who was it that talked like that? A one and a, oh, that was Lawrence Welk. Lawrence Welk. Okay, number three, number three, number three, number three is the left hook, bring it up and around. So you go out and you elevate, you elevate the elbow. Elevate, elevate, that's it. Boom, boom. Number four is the right hook. Some boxers make these funny sounds. They go, <laughs> it's like they're blowing air through their teeth. I don't quite know why they do that but they do it. It's intimidation, intimidate your competitor. Okay, number five, who remembers number five? That's our left uppercut, boom, 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 that's it. You gotta get under, that's the sh shot to the chin, right? But I like this one because it really uses the back muscles too, which is important. Up and under, up and under. And number six. Good. And we do a little extra. We do a number seven, which is the back hit. Seven. I like that because it strengthens the back of the shoulders and it also encourages rotation, which is what we want, right? And number eight, of course, is the right side. So we're going to do some combinations. So if I say I want to see a one, five, six, you know what I'm talking about, right? A one, five, six would be a left jab, with left uppercut. Right uppercut. So we're going to throw some combos at you because it gets your brain working too. In our regular class, um, my main coach, Ned, he likes to put all these complicated numbers together, about five or six of them in a row. And you're going, what? <laughs> what am I supposed to be remembering? I'm not going to be that mean today, but we'll do a few combos. We'll start easy and go from there. Okay. Four, three, hands up. Let's just start with a one, two combo. Let's go for 30 seconds. One, two, one, two. Keep yourself light on your feet. You're moving around. One, two, one, two, one, two, looking good. One, two, 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 one, two. Yes. One, two. Okay, good. Now you're gonna walk or jog in place. Get those arms, keep those arms moving. Here we go, we're just moving, moving. Keep it going, keep it going. It's important to move, it's important to always swing your arms. Sometimes you might forget. Parkinson's makes us forget to swing our arms, but it's important to keep, keep doing that. It helps with your walking gait, it helps keep everything moving. Oh, wow. Look at Laird, he's doing laps of his house there. Fantastic, way to go, Laird. Ah, it's awesome. Oh, I'm seeing some good arm swings here. Okay, let's do a one, two, four. Okay, so it's one, two, right hook. One, two, four. Keep it going. One, two, four. 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 Yes. One, two, four. Good, good. Let's do some high knees. Bring those knees up. Get them up to your hands. Yes, yes, yes. 
Good. Keep a nice rhythm going. Always keep that rhythm going. Excellent. Look at that. That's a good balance exercise too, but make sure you use a chair if need be. But you look really good. Let's try a two, five, six. What's a two, five, six? Okay, use your brain. That's gonna be a cross, hook, hook. Right cross, left hook, right hook. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that was a three, four, sorry, boom. Oh, sorry, five, six are uppercuts. Two, five, my brain's not working today. Two, uppercut, uppercut. Sorry guys, cross, uppercut, uppercut, cross. Uppercut, uppercut, cross, uppercut, uppercut. Let's do those modified jumping jacks. So bring your leg out. Whoop, can't see my legs. Out, out. Easy to do in a chair. I kind of like it in a chair. <laughs> Feels easier. I see a couple of you doing real, real ones where you're going like this. Woohoo! Now I look like one of those Russian dancers. <laughs> we can do the Cossack dance. Oh my gosh. I swear, my brain's starting to get a little strange. See me in three weeks in a basket case. Let's do a one, 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 three, four. 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 One, one. One, good. Three, four. One, 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 three. Okay, go use that. Go use your room. March around a little bit. Move around. That's it. I see Dan's even got stairs. He can go up and down the stairs. <laughs> hey, he's going to do it. Way to go, Dan. <laughs> stairs are great. You can do lots on stairs. That's great. Most people have one, 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 you know, one room or one floor houses now. You don't see stairs as often as you used to. Awesome, you guys, fantastic. Okay, let's get our speed bag going. I love doing the speed bag. Here we go, we're rolling, we're rolling. My right hand is going clockwise, okay? Clockwise, clockwise. There we go, excellent, excellent, excellent. Bubba da bubba da bubba da bubba da bubba. That looks really good, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Good. Let's do some more of these three, two, some more of these squats. Let's do some quick squats, okay? Up and down. Squat, just like that. Get those arms going. That's a really nice way to get the heart pumped up. Keep that going. Up, down. Excellent. 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 And we are going to do the speed bag. The other direction. So instead of my right arm, I'm gonna, my right arm is going to come towards my face now. It's like you're scooping water, splashing yourself in the face. Whoa, look at you go. Look at Sylvia. She's killing it. That's fantastic. Wow. Oh, it's my drummers. Look at Elspeth. See, they've been drumming with me. So they've got fast hands now. Their hands are getting, hands are getting faster. That's fantastic. Hope some of you are coming to join the uh, Try the Drumming. It's going to start in a couple of weeks. It's gonna replace this this timing. No, no, yeah, is it? No, Wednesdays, Wednesdays. I'm getting all confused now. I don't know if I'm coming or going. Okay, now let's do reverse lunges where you step back, step back, step back. That's it. So your feet are together, take a step back, and then the other one, you kind of can kind of reach up in between. Reverse lunges, that's what we're doing. Sorry, I can't show you very well. Here I'm Trying to show you, but it's hard, it's hard. Cast on, stupid cast. Okay, let's do a one, two, three, four. You ready, folks? Let's go. One, two, hook, hook. One, two, hook, hook. One, two, three, four. 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 Good. Okay, I want to try something just a little bit different here. I want to practice some vocalizing while we punch. 
So we're going to do the vowel sounds. We're going to go A, E, I, O, U. We're going to say it as we punch. So we're going to go A, E, I, O, U. With me. A, E, I, O, U. Again. A, E, I, O, U. Again. A, E, I, O, U. Now let's put an M. Oh, we got someone just came in. Let's put an M on the front of that. We're going to say may, me, my, mo, moo. Okay, let's go. May, me, my, mo, moo. May, me, my, mo, moo. May, me, my, mo, moo. Now let's do this. Fee, five, fo, fum. Fee, five, fo, fum. Fee, bye, fo, bum. Fee, bye, fo, bum. Fee, bye, fo, bum. High. Fee, bye, fo, bum. Low. Fee, bye, fo, bum. Again. Fee, bye, fo, bum. Low. Fee, bye, fo, bum. Now we're going to hold. We're going to do this. We're going to do the speed bag as you hold. A nice loud ah, uh, as long as you can. See how long you can keep those hands going and your and your uh, voice going with it. Big ah, uh, ready? Take a nice breath. Here we go. Ah. Uh, well done. Well done. Well done. So it's good. Sometimes I find when you're when you've been doing some exercising, your heart rate's going, your respiratory, your, your breathing's coming up. It's a good time to do some vocalizing. It all kind of ties in together. So very, very nice. Now, just before we let you go with the hard stuff, we're going to do a quick speed round. Today's only 10 seconds. So what I want to see, this is kind of, you're all nicely warmed up now. We're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, as fast as you can. Fast as you can for only 10 seconds, then a short break. And we're going to do this four times. So this is where you get to really move, really move, really move. Let's see how you do with this. It's only 10 seconds. We do these in the gym all the time. And it's, it, I find it's a really a thing that the guys really look forward to because they encourage, they, they, they yell at each other to push each other on and um, just feels really good. Okay, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, 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 one, two. That's it. One, two, one, two, real fast, real fast, real fast. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds, we go back up again. 10 seconds, we go back up again. Four, three, two, let's go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, 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 and rest. Get two more of those. They're tough, aren't they? Tough. They're tough. Here we go. Number three. Number three. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Boom, 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 boom. It's like a rhythm again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, 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 and rest. One more, one more, one more. Rest. Here we go. I'm gonna do it one more time. One more time. Big finish, big finish. Here we go. And go. One, two, one, two, four. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, 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 one, two. And rest. Give those arms a good swing out. Just like that. And up. Uh, circles, let's do some circles. Let's get those heart rates back down a bit. If you if you worked yourself as hard as you can, you're gonna wanna drink water and just really slow things down now. Bring it down slow. Give yourself time to get the, the blood back to your, to your brain. Because your blood's out on your working muscles right now. Let's go the other way around. 
Easy does it, slowing things down, slowing down those circles. Nice big nourishing breaths. Good. Now we're gonna grab onto the back of your chair and let's do those calf, let's do those calf stretches like this. See, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna bring one foot back, press that foot into the ground. With those calf raises today, you wanna to stretch out the calf muscles, calf, calf muscles. I don't know how it ever, they ever got those names. How it ever got called a calf. And then again, why its real name is the gastrocnemonis. Gastrocnemonis. I can't even say that today. Let's just call it the cow. Gastroc. Call it the gastroc. Sounds like an Italian waiter. Gastroc. And we'll do the other foot. You're going to do the other foot. I'm not going to do the other foot. Stretch that out. Whoops. Now oh, I'm destroying the house here. Walking around, I'm sure most of you have gone through something like this in your lifetimes. It's not much fun having to uh, hobble around everywhere. Everything's a little bit, a little bit more difficult. But I'm not complaining. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> Just making an observation. When you finish that, come have a seat with me. And we're going to sit back. We're gonna, we did a lot of shoulder work today, boxing and. So I want to thank the Parkinson's Society for hosting these uh, these wonderful um, classes. Not just mine, but not that mine are wonderful, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. All they do, all kinds of things, incredible things they offer up, and free of charge to you guys. Isn't that great? So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you if you if you enjoy my style of teaching, which is a little odd, I will admit, and you want to carry on, I I do I do um, I, um, I have been doing a Tuesday Thursday class for a few years now. Uh, a couple of years anyway, since COVID hit. And I'm going to continue with the Thursday class going forward. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can just go on my website. Just, just Google Fluid Fitness in Parksville. And it's, it's actually fluidfitstudio.com. Oh, there we go. Run, okay, or just email me, runfluid at hotmail.ca. But my website address is fluidfitstudio.com. Just in case you're interested, we do these classes ongoing. We're smaller, a couple of the people on here are, are my regulars. There it is, Fluid Fit Studio. Thank you, Shelly. Give us, a, where's Sandy? Sandy and Sandy, give us a wave. Dennis, give us a wave. These are my two most regular people. They've been coming to my classes for over two years. So they should be, they should be bulked up and ripped by now, right? They've been working out so long. <laughs> they, they put up with my sense of humor. Dennis actually said he liked my sense of humor, which I found was really odd, but I don't know what's wrong with you, Dennis. <laughs> so we're going to continue with Thursday classes for now and, and uh, see how that goes and it's been fun. Oh, let's do the other side. So like shoulders, shoulders. We did a lot of shoulders. So you want to really want to stretch this out. Yeah, so uh, Shelly was kind enough. If you click on your chat, chat, chat box, you will see my email address and the website for my uh, business, my fluid fitness business. But love to see some of your faces stick around. Eddie, you finally, you fixed your computer. I can see your little dog again. I don't know what was going on. It was, it was doing some weird things. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it's, yeah. Now let's do this. We also did some triceps. So put your arm up like you're gonna ask a question. Bend that elbow, pat yourself in the back and then give that a little push, a little push back like that. Oh, yes. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you folks too, um, has anybody out here ever, ever had any experience with the Alexander technique? Somebody ever tried the Alexander technique? Sandy has. Anybody else give it a try? I'm just, I'm finding it, I'm really curious about it. It's, it's, uh, it has its place for sure, I think, with Parkinson's. The other side here, so if you're curious, you can look that up, Alexander technique. I think it has some good applications for Parkinson's. We've got, uh, speaker coming next month. She's going to come and talk to us. So I'm so happy with to have a, a, a practitioner come and talk to our support group from here in Parksville. So I'm interested just to hear some, some feedback from people that have had some experience with it. 
Good. Now legs, legs, legs. Let's work the hamstrings here. So what I want to do, put one leg out in front, hand on your knee, and we're just gonna slowly reach down. As the weather gets nice, I hope you folks are finding finding the motivation and the 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 the, the will to get out there and get some lovely walks in as this on days like today. It's fantastic. So just be careful. Don't walk sideways like I did. Don't do don't do any sideways movements quickly. No lateral motions trying to show off and show how fast you are. <laughs> it doesn't pay off, trust me. Use common sense. Be smarter than me. Ah. Oh, let's try the other side. Stretch out those hamstrings. Oh, yes. So thanks again, everybody, for joining up with this session. Um, it was great to see so many of you come back. Almost every, I think a lot of you came to almost every single one. And it's been a lot of fun. I always enjoy meeting new people. And you've got my email address. If you ever have any questions about anything to do with exercise and Parkinson's or you just want to say hi or you want to talk about drumming or, or anything you want to talk to, um, I'd love to, I'd love to uh, hear from you. I really enjoy working with people with Parkinson's. Most of my friends have Parkinson's at this point now. <laughs> That's, it's just, I've somehow become ensconced in a world of Parkinson's and I'm super happy for that. But I know doing this kind of thing is the most important thing. Don't, don't, don't sit at home. You know, don't, don't, I mean, don't avoid coming together even if it's virtually. The most important thing is to get out there and meet other people. And it's, 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 you get to meet, there's some, wonderful, there's some wonderful, wonderful stories and moments of victory that happen with people with Parkinson's too. So I know a lot of people are scared to go to support group meetings and because they, they, they're worried about seeing people that are, are maybe have worse symptoms than they do and they worry about what their own story is going to be like. But every story is different. Never forget that. Everybody's living their own Parkinson's journey. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful spring and summer. And like I say, if you want to check out my other class that I already do, go on my website. And if not, I'm sure we're going to do this again through the Parkinson's Society. I want to thank you all for coming out. It's been really, really enjoyable. I've really enjoyed every single time. And all your, I, even though we're not in the same room, I can still feel all that energy. So it really gets, it really gets me going. And I really enjoy the days that we get to do these classes. So we'll see you next time. See you down yeah, the road. Everybody. Good. Thanks, oh, thanks very much. Thanks, 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 thanks very much.